Now, buying local fresh produce can be quite the challenge for those of you who are trying to avoid crowds. Yeah, especially during, you know, summer farmers market season. Well, now many farmers markets are back open across the area, but if you are staying away in the pandemic, there is now a new online solution. Mm -hmm. Joining us live this morning to tell us all about it is Melissa Mathewson, the online coordinator with the Oregon Farmers Markets Association. Good morning, Melissa. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. We're excited to talk about this because you guys recently launched this project online. So how many farmers markets are part of this online project and, and how does this all work? Yes. So at this point, um, there's a hundred and about 106 markets across the state, um, but those that are online at this point are about 27 of those um, markets have taken um, their products online. <clears throat> and, and the way it works is each uh, individual market has an online platform in which uh, shoppers uh, can log on. There's two main platforms, local food marketplace and what's good which is actually an app that people can download onto their phone um, and it triggers where your location is with the gps and then you can find a farmer's market near you um, that is selling online products from the vendors so it's a range of things from produce to berries to fruit whatever's in season at the farmer's market including cheese meat honey um, all local oregon products yeah, this is so awesome. So is this something that you guys have ever ventured into before? And, you know, how big of a deal is it to connect farmers markets with with customers online? Um, you know, vendors and farmers have been doing this for a few years and the platforms aren't relatively new. Although when COVID-19 hit and the stay at home orders um, from the governor came into play in March, farmers markets quickly sort of pivoted. Um, to develop these online markets for those shoppers that felt like they couldn't um, get out to the markets based on high risk populations or vulnerability. Um, and so farmers markets instituted that as an enhancement. Um, uh, while physical markets are considered sort of essential retail marketplaces, uh, the markets were sort of hoping um, that uh, <clears throat> farmers market shoppers would come online to buy products. Yeah, I know we we saw a lot of farmers markets work to space out their booths and kind of change their layout this year to make some of that physical distancing a little easier. But so how does it work with the with the online ordering in this case? Does it depend on who you're buying from, how you would go about getting that produce once you order it online? Yeah, so each market is different. Um, for instance, there's um, a, two markets on the coast, both in Manzanita and Florence, that are primarily operating online. In Florence, because they have a high risk population, they actually do drive through. So a customer can order products online um, and then the Florence Farmers Market sort of aggregates all of that for the customer. And then the customer drives through and the farmers market um, puts the, the products into their car. Um, some farmers markets, you can pre-order your products um, and then go pick up at the farmers market um, and you can walk in and either um, some markets are doing it at their information booths or you can actually go to the vendor to pick up uh, your products. So it's really each individual farmers market is doing it a little different, some drive through, some pick up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And it all works to limit how much time you're with all of those other people. Oh, so. definitely. Yeah. yeah. And any plans? You, it's, it sounds like there are plans to add more as this continues. Yes, there's a few more markets. I, we anticipate that more markets will keep going online. And as the season progresses, we see it as sort of just an enhancement to the physical markets that um, are already operating. And as we kind of see what happens with um, COVID-19, I think it'll be really opportunistic um, and an enhancement to farmers markets as we move into the fall and winter seasons as well. Very cool. I think it sounds like a great way to help continue to support our local farmers who, who need it now more than ever. So Melissa, thank you so much. We appreciate all the info. Yeah, thank you for having me. Absolutely.